Great officiating crew, Doug Sermons, five straight Final Fours, James Breeding and Brooks Wells. And off we go here in Waco. Never quit on a defensive play, too. Even when it's going out of bounds, we've seen two plays already where Houston has gone after it. Nice look down deep. Shed beautiful dime underneath. It's Jawan Roberts to get us our first point. And Baylor's still looking for its first points. Bridges puts it on the deck. That's a clean strip, according to the officials. Roberts. Well, they go. Going to see quite a few red shirts in the paint area. Beautiful attack. Emmanuel Sharp. And Sharp coming off 20 against Iowa State last time. Minutes decreased as that freshman year went yep. on, but such a big piece. All conference for Baylor last year. And now the number one scorer for the Cougars. Shed right through the teeth of the defense. So much feistiness is their head coach. They work it to the corner. Deep three. What a stroke by Walter. Boy, this kid has been off the charts. The five-star freshman. How do they bounce back? A team that has won five of its last seven. Trying to get themselves in good position here a couple of days away before March. Macy the spin and he's turned back. Like good it. interior defense by Francis. And now all of a sudden he has two, so he's having a little trouble. Nice look inside. Malik Wilson has checked into the game. He goes underneath to Roberts, the kick to Sharp. Deep three is good. And notice the way that Houston attack. And watch the way they kick it. They go to the baseline from that elbow area, which is right in this general spot. And then they move it. Here's that adjustment to Sphere. They've gone back to man-to-man -man now instead of that zone. Roberts getting right back to work. Remember, a left-handed player. And where is he going? Lefty right to the middle of the lane. Another adjustment that has to be made on the individual side is force him to his right. Now, guys can score with their weak hand, but not as efficiently. Jimmy, when Houston scores like this, boy, they are tough to beat. They've hit four straight shots. And they have locked in defensively at this end. Uh -oh. Ray J. Dennis is going to be a goaltend. Give them something to cheer for at the offensive end. L.J. Cryer has been booed every time he's touched it. That is Tugler on a leaner. Samson's team, can they score enough? But if they clamp down on a team that scores this many points like Bear, they don't have to score all that much. Walter starting to cook. And there's that little punch for the building, more so than Baylor as a team. Get this building rocking a bit. L.J. Cryer. Third guy's helping out. Here comes Shed, the driving kick outside to Damian Dunn. And Houston builds on its lead. The attention to detail and the relentless point of view they have. Uh oh Cryer bangs in a three. So they can boo him all he wants, but he just very too long shot. Straight points for the Cougars as Cryer comes back home. Houston's only three losses this year have all come on the road. Iowa State, TCU, and Kansas. That KU game, really the, old, the only game which they were beaten up this year. And right now, their offense is rolling. Roberts again. Yeah, and it's rolling against that matchup that looks like a 1-3-1 to begin with. They are picking that apart very easily. Boy, they're going to have to ride the hot hand of Walter, the fresh. Now to Walter. Just take your time and get a good possession. None into the corner. That's a three. Jalen Bridges. Two months ago, played their first home game here, January the 2nd against Cornell. They're 6-1 in this building. Their only loss, triple overtime against TCU. And Roberts still coming for more. And Misi just staying away just then defensively. That's just a, a breakdown, really, and not being ready to defend that lefty. Boy, we watched Kelvin Sampson kind of chew Roberts out yesterday during one little instance in their practice. And boy, Roberts has come to play. Sharp gives it away. Ray J. Dennis comes down the paint. Silky smooth on the floater. Opportunity pass against arguably the premier defender in the country. Here's a leaner. Roberts, boy, that soft little leaner with his left hand. They just cannot allow that pain in Houston that does it night in and night out. Cryer in the corner. Going to reset. Inside, boy, beautiful look. Tugler on the finish. The rest of the team for Baylor is 3 of 13. Francis played with that early foul trouble. 
Unable to put it down on a reverse. And now Ray J. Dennis back up the floor for the Bears. Yeah, I think I was just going to say, you have to go quickly just then. Dennis, that time. Spear, if you get a chance to push the ball down the floor against Houston, take it. And the rebound squeezed by Nunn. They are very good at it, aren't they? Tipping that ball when they're kind of a little bit of congestion and traffic. Big shot here. Dennis! Dennis. What a matchup against Shed. So much experience between those two. None left open. Splash! Uh, they're dragging it all to the middle of the floor. Pick that one up. Shed looking for a seam. Five to shoot. Gets square. He'll fire block Misi. And then Roberts coughs it up. Can't buy one. It's interesting, too, how Houston's guards don't go back to half court. They stay around the top of the key area. Three-point line. None wow. turn back. If you've just joined us, Houston has led by as many as 17. They have never trailed today. There you go. Go by somebody. None accelerates. There you go. That's putting pressure on the defensive guy. Shot clock at 10. None probing the defense. Dennis skips it. Boy, Bridges, deep shot. <laughs> Is with the basketball. There's, yeah, they were, they were falling, you know, the middle of the floor. Foul charge to J.B. or Francis. That's his third. See, Spear, if you don't use both sides of the floor against this Houston team, that's a nice move there. Shed picks up the dribble. He's bottled up. Out to Sharp. He's been quiet. Let's it fly and hits. In a massive game. First place against the number three team in the Big 12. Sharp to spin, somehow puts it down. Yeah, so we're going to talk about this a little bit more. Watch the under over, and it goes up underneath the arm. He had two swipes at that ball. Second one he pulled away. Nice, there we go. That was a bad shed maneuver. He just put his hand on his forehead just then, Spiro. Bridges the steal ahead to none. This is Walter, corner pocket three. He buries it. It's Baylor in Texas Tech. For third place. Boy, the quick inbounds and sharp. Another turn in the tide. Get the sense this is a key possession here. We come up on the seven minute mark. Nisi has been quiet. A series of fakes and Roberts with a denial. Shot clock is at 2.1, so they've got to work quickly here. Walter, the fake, the floater, and he gets it. Massive shot for Baylor. It's man to man, but they're squeezing the middle of the floor. Cryer and the former Bear has another triple. That quiets this crowd down again. He's done that number of times in this game. As he makes his first return to Waco, and again. Force the action with the dribble right now. Force the officials to call some fouls. Bridges. Now let's see if there's hesitation with Houston. Shed, three to shoot. Bodies bumping, he comes up short. You talk about dominance. Houston hasn't trailed in weeks. Short. To the cup, he missed it. Francis on a stick back. But he brought three Bears with him on that drive, allowing the offensive glass to open up for two Houston players. This is when Houston has been so good late in tight games. Can they do it on the road here in Waco? That is Bridges. Now watch this separation, too. You see how tight they are there? Now he steps away. Look how much room he has. There's about three feet of shooting. Ten seconds. Dennis. Lobs it. Misi on the catch. Oh! And he lays it in. And he's fouled. Watch Dennis run the traffic here. He goes over the top because he recognizes in a hurry. Back from 17 down. And back from the dead are the Bears. Roberts with a little leader. You can still push in overtime. There you go. None. Here he comes. Baseline. Turn back. Here he comes underneath Roberts. The stumble. 
Back out. This is Francis at a leader, and he puts it down. Jimmy, they are as good as any team in the country, and the only question is going to be how far this Cougars team can go. Because I... 15 points right at his season average. Three huge threes. As the last second layup by none will be just a footnote as the Houston Cougars come to Waco and survive in an overtime.